sense of the opposition is clear. We still want to help black people, but we think that by making the new state are going to worsen the condition of the black people in the current state, United States, and that we think that status quo is currently is sufficient enough in trying to help them be better in the current status quo. Two responses towards team government. One, they say that the concept of new state comes from discrimination that comes from class that exists in the current status quo. First response, we think that this is false. The reason of discrimination is not class, but it comes from an arbitrary discrimination because they are feeling that there is a threat towards their living, uh, livingness or their current uh, welfare in the current status quo. That's why white people hate black people because they see them as a threat towards their own economic salvation in the current status quo. So we think that class is not the reason of discrimination if that's the reason that they want to have in the current status quo. But ladies and gentlemen, even if that class is something that should be considered in this debate, we think that class will still exist in their side because there will still be poor black people and rich people that can still discriminate in how they can take more job vacancy in their new state because these black people that are going to be advantaged are black people that are actually gain more advantage from white people that exist in the past state, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that class are going to still exist on their side. So what is the comparative, ladies and gentlemen? In our side, we are, not, we are going to penetrate these kinds of discrimination coming from the root, which is the hatred that comes only from the exclusive uh, part of rejection that comes from our status quo, which is movement. So we think that their argument talking about class is not standing in this debate. But secondly, they are talking about the principle of tax allocation, that this comes from all people to contribute, specifically towards people that are oppressed. Three responses. One. We think that this is not true because how you contribute towards tax means that you also have to contribute them equally towards our people. That's why in the current status quo, we make bridges for where all people can access it because people pay for it equally, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot make something that is going to be beneficial towards a certain kind of people because this means you are paying for somebody else's contribution and somebody else's benefits, not the whole states as a whole, ladies and gentlemen. But secondly, let's say that to help specific people is a consideration in this debate. We think that this is something that must be questioned in this debate. Is by making a new state something that is going to be agreed by the people in the current status quo? Because by helping them by making a new state, it's not something that is easy by going to make them and give them more funding, ladies and gentlemen, and making them get more better jobs, ladies and gentlemen. Making them a new state means that you're going to make spend billions of dollars in making a state that is not going to be make sure trying to help these kind of people to begin with. But lastly, ladies and gentlemen, even if that this is true, status quo is enough trying to help them. Trying to make a new kind of state is not proportional. This moves on into my first argument very uh, uh, perfectly, ladies and gentlemen. One, I'm going to talk about why giving new state is not proportional. Second, I'm going to talk about why status quo is not enough. Uh, is enough. One, let's talk about why giving new state is not proportional, ladies and gentlemen. Because when you're trying to make something... Uh, trying to make a retribution towards oppression, ladies and gentlemen, you have to retribute them in something that is proportionate on what they are going to be oppressed in the past, ladies and gentlemen. That's why in the current status quo, we give counseling to rape victims, we give funding towards people that are killed in uh, Rohingya because, we are, uh, because, they are going, because they are killed in their places, ladies and gentlemen. We give funding and international aid to make sure that they are not killed or not going to be oppressed anymore. What does this show, ladies and gentlemen? Our retribution must be proportionate on what the harms that are going to be inflicted on them in the past, ladies and gentlemen. So why is giving them a new state not proportionate? For two main reasons. A. Because past actions, ladies and gentlemen, does not reflect on how these kinds of things should be given land. Because these kinds of black people are not invaded and their land is not stolen, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that by giving them a new land and giving them a new state is not proportionate and how we are going to retribute towards them. The only, only reason why we give land or give state in the past, ladies and gentlemen, only in the circumstances where they are invaded and their land is stolen by other countries, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that this is not proportionate in the first uh, layer, ladies and gentlemen. But secondly, we think that even in the current status quo, if you are giving them a new state that comes from existing places, ladies and gentlemen, it comes from people that are already integrated, e.g. Timor-Leste and, uh, and Papua New Guinea, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that if you are trying to make a new land and make them to integrate, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to be proportionate because it is not something that can reflect on what is needed by the black people if this thing is, uh, if this thing is needed to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that this is a very big, crucial uh, distinction between the two, ladies and gentlemen. 
But second, ladies and gentlemen, what is proportionate in our side? We think that it is status quo, ladies and gentlemen, by giving them help towards in terms of giving anti-discrimination, anti specifically, ladies and gentlemen. Because by giving them something that is uh, not proportionate means that you are not trying to trying to retribute towards the specific harm that happens in the current status quo. What are the specific harms, ladies and gentlemen? Which is that they are being hatred, that their jobs have been taken, and that they are being discriminated in the streets, ladies and gentlemen. Status quo already tried to figure this out by giving anti-discrimination laws and job fields towards black people. That's why they also bring, uh, uh, bring new jobs towards black people so that they can be able to improve themselves or making new schools that can be accessed towards black people so that they can improve themselves if they have lacking of education. So think the status quo already able to make them to empower themselves towards the discrimination that have endured in the past. So I think this is proportionate, status quo is proportionate. But let's move on to more practical analysis. What status quo is now? The problem if you are trying to solve discrimination on the side is that you are trying to run away from the problem by just disattaching by yourself, but by just disattaching yourself for two main reasons. A, because by trying to get up from discrimination by making a new state, you only try to solve the geographic location, ladies and gentlemen. This is a problem because discrimination does not come from geographic like location, ladies and gentlemen. Discrimination comes from that hatred towards you because they see you as a threat. And second, they just hate you because you come from outside, ladies and gentlemen. This means if you go towards a new place, e.g. new state, the problem of discrimination will still happen because you only change the geographic factor, ladies and gentlemen. You only change where they live, not the discrimination. You see, so you do not solve the root cause of discrimination that exists, which is lack of awareness. The correct way to solve this is by focusing on penetrating the system for two main, uh, maybe on two ways, ladies and gentlemen. By one, by trying to say that these kinds of black people are actually contributing towards the system, ladies and gentlemen. They are actually contributing on how our economy are trying to develop, ladies and gentlemen. Meaning our economical argument to reject them will not exist in the current status quo, ladies and gentlemen. But secondly, let's talk about arbitrariness. This already be tackled for two main reasons. One, movement. They already show that these kind of black people are actually human and you need to protect them. And this is actually going to be progressed in the current status quo. Black Lives Matter, supported by white people. But secondly, we think that even in the worst case scenario, legislation already try having a made legislation to prevent discrimination. So we think in trying in terms of legitimacy, these kinds of things is already tackled to in the current status quo, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that threat and arbitrariness of hatred are already being tackled by status quo. So we think this is going to make them better in the current status quo. Status quo is enough to make them better for, for opposition. Jadi, saya nak kamu gitu.